temperatures over the weekend and so too have many of Wisconsin's birds which are en route to warmer areas of the U.S. News 3 Now's Kyle Pazorski spoke with bird experts today about the busy fall migration. Fall is here and that means it's a great time to head outside and enjoy nature at parks like this before snow starts to come down this winter. But it's also an indication to our feathered friends that they need to head south to escape the cold. According to tracking website BirdCast, more than 519,000 birds crossed Dane County alone Sunday night into Monday morning. About three quarters of the birds that breed in Wisconsin migrate, so it's a big deal. Stan Temple, a professor emeritus in conservation at UW, tells News 3 Now Wisconsin continues to see what is considered peak migration in southern Wisconsin. During the month of October is when there's a lot of movement going on. Some birds are leaving Wisconsin to head for more southerly places for the winter. Other birds are coming to Wisconsin from further north and will be spending the winter with us. He says migration is critical for the birds that breed here as frost, snow and frozen lakes become commonplace during the winter months making it nearly impossible for some species to survive. They've got to get it right. However, Bill Volkert, a former naturalist and educator for the Wisconsin DNR, says migration this fall is still on track despite the later fall. While we're noticing a lot of other things in are changing with the, uh, the late fall season, bird migration for most birds is still uh, on schedule. Those that can afford to linger will certainly stay longer. In Madison, Kopzarski, News 3 Now.